Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're looking more of Doug Doug. Now, I was recommended by my mod warrior to do more of this channel. Specifically, I forced Twitch chat to take a personality test. I don't know how this is going to go, but it involves chat and the internet. It doesn't matter if it's Twitch or YouTube. You know what kind of hell you're getting into on this. Which is why I'm actually really looking forward to this, because I know what kind of hell he got into on this. And it's nice to see it on the other foot for once. Ah, someone else suffering while chat is just tearing them a new one. <laughs> it's a it's a good thing I've never been on the receiving end of doing something stupid while people are pointing it out. Yeah, that's uh Yeah, that's never happened. Moving on, you guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up and let's get started. I am obviously the main character of the Doug Doug YouTube channel, but the side character of Twitch chat has become increasingly influential and mysterious over I've the years. I've actually been told the Who chat is the character Twitch chat? Like, ironically. What are they thinking? What's going on Very behind those and, incomprehensible oh, yeah. words of theirs? Today, I- Wait, did you say dance frog? It's probably a thing intend to find out. I will be having Twitch chat take a series of personality tests using a click maps program that lets them click onto the oh screen no. and it displays what was clicked the most. Using this system Wait, he actually has a program to correlate every person at the same time? I thought he was just putting up polls. Oh wow. This is already way more high tech than I even knew was possible on the internet. And it's going to be even more fucked up because of it. Calling it now, they're going to love kittens and murder. System will work up to a full Myers Bridge oh, no. personality test, but we'll oh, start shit, they're actually doing a real quiz. test. Which Marvel character are you? Let's be honest, Hawkeye, best character. What would be your superpower? I know I just Enormous strength, superhuman that. intelligence, super speed, none, everything, or I don't know. Click maps are now live. Click on the square that intelligence most resonates with more. you. Twenty three percent are on none, and thirty five percent are. On I mean, everything. that's that's pretty 3 good. Three percent clicking my face. Everything. Next question. What kind of hero would you oh, it's be? on the entire Regular screen. Regular hero, anti hero, villain, or I don't care. Get out of I here. don't care. So far, that's half one. the chat just wants no. They just keep clicking him and doesn't the... care what kind of hero they would be. What What's your favorite fuck? season? Go. A lot of people's favorite season is my face. Really? Winter? This can't be right. Really? No, I'm restarting this. No, seriously, winter? Out of all the seasons? Spring is tied with autumn? Summer has the least. I thought everyone who went through any type of education system was kind of PTSD'd into loving summer for the simple fact that they didn't have to associate with school. Hell, I mean, I could accept his face more than summer being the least. I'm personally a fan of spring because I am a nerd and I'm pasty white. This is my tan, unironically. But for anyone else who actually has, you know, functioning ability to go outside and not immediately burn, that makes no sense. Yes, answer this seriously. I want to actually know your guys' opinions. In fall, it's chilly and it looks cool without it being so cold that it's just uncomfortable. Winter destroys the roads too. Yeah, I don't even deal with snow. Yeah. Okay, <sighs> okay yeah, winter. Nice I don't, I don't know. Where do you live? Do you, uh, is my entire audience like in Panama where winter is just like <laughs> two degrees colder? I mean, winter uh, could be right? California. I mean, I agree on that, obviously. The sun's but, like spring, autun? it's autumn? It's all have summer. Been to autumn before? It's awesome. It's so beautiful. Spring it's, is better, man. It's, it's chilly, but not too chilly. You guys need to go visit Starts autumn. Starts getting sometime. a little warmer. Outrageous. Choose something to drink. This is all for what Marvel hero you are. Ooh, coffee, hot chocolate, lemonade, water, wine, or beer. I'll be honest. Coffee. Although I will go with water. I like hot chocolate, but coffee every time. Are by the way, <laughs> milk. You fucking babies. There's a bunch of Panama of children in really? my, water in my one? channel. I didn't realize this is my Twitch audience. That or you are three months old and you've only ever heard about. And also his, You're like, oh, it'll be. His face is as much of a drink of choice as wine. I. I did, <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually enjoying Amazing this. in winter. There's only I need to one figure out how to do this. this is here, which is getting shockingly close to winning. And the wow. incorrect Water. answer is lemonade. Okay. Coffee had so little. This is further cementing Why? that you guys are three months old and have never been to winter before. Dude, lemonade? Really? It's just sugar. Lem Coffee is almost as. Coffee is literally lower than his face. Oh, that's just. That. that 
People have horrible taste. Lemonade is good. I'm actually taking offense on this. It's just bitter and sour, and it's it's just sugar. It's all just sugar anyway. You're just drinking yeah, sugar, sugar water. water. I'm like, oh, as opposed to which sweet tea, which is just like sugar. Okay, diabetes water. water, which is a good What's answer. The difference How dare you do. trash talk winter? Winter is the best because you snuggle up in warm blankies. Too bad my wife divorced me, so I snuggle with a Doug Doug body pillow now. Oh you can do that any time of year. Maybe you just Does don't want to go sell? outside, and so. When I was going to ask if he actually sold body pillows, but then I remembered internet. If he doesn't, someone does. Yeah. Winter gives you the reason to never go outside. Maybe that's what's going on. And then you pound water and lemonade like a child. You know what? <laughs> reason not to go outside <laughs> sounds good to, to me. Do with green. The, being Every time. Green. Hero. Just narrowly. This is a big one right here. Blue wins. Blue and green are both oh. correct answers. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yes, blue and green. The classic question, are you a ranger or a wizard? And people answered wrong. Lemonade is the sequel to water. They improved all aspects and gave it a cool color. Eh, yeah, hey, piss. Well, we all agree that yellow is the worst color anyways. If it was blue and aid, I might be down. 39% for aggressively and fast. That means we'll finally figure it out. What superhero is Twitch chat? Come on, Morbius. Oh yeah, he is Marvel. I, I actually all forgot about Morbius altogether. Which I'm now disappointed that I remember it again. That's on me. More important, I'm going to take a wild guess. If they actually are Hawkeye, I'm laughing my ass off. It's probably that one speedster. Really? Oh, come on. No, that's stupid. You're they chose the we don't care option. It's literally the option of... We don't care what kind of hero, and that's going to be Deadpool. Yeah, okay, that makes Very sense. Very aware that you're just a fictional character. If you tend to break the fourth wall, you're funny and immortal. Shit, that's kind of accurate. Honestly, Deadpool is probably the most accurate fit for Twitch <laughs> chat. It's kind of impressive that they got that from oh, you liking wow. water and winter. I guess okay, that's the best option. we got to figure out another character that you are. That has more, uh, more of a distinct personality, because then I mean, we can see oh, if he your personality here matches it. What other quiz should we do? Like, what Disney princess are you? What Disney character are you? We want princess. This includes all of princess, but plus other things. Also, There's this will tell us if Twitch chat is a main character or not. Deadpool is kind of a main character. You're going to be like Dory. He's from, like the side uh, character that's actually the better fish. than the main character. Step one, they're the main character. They're still better. Question number one. How often do you like to read? And again, you have not hacked into my computer. I want to be explicitly clear here. Some people got really excited. Okay. You eat book. You eat... Wait. Okay, this is a really heavy joke one, isn't it? Like, it makes the Marvel test look serious. Chapter night, a couple of chapters during the day. One sentence every 15 minutes. Every single one of these is kind of slow. Hell, I eat books is probably still the least offensive. I wasn't expecting that. Pick an insect. <laughs> How the fuck does this teach us what Disney character you are? So it's 40% for B. I think B is winning. Why are they all clicking and just, okay. 5% <laughs> jokes. <laughs> that beats out Manta. Oh wait, there's more over here, I forgot, yeah. It. What is going on here? Okay, here, here's guys, a better question. I spent a lot of my childhood in western Montana and the snow was fun to play in and eat. It's like Doug has never made snow angels and ate fresh snow before. People live in Montana? Huh. I thought it was just a strategic reserve of buffalo and cows. You guys are deranged. This is a better question. Okay, this is gonna help what kind of weather you like the most. Eat the snow, coward. Who eats snow? Are you all stranded in Canada and you're starving to death? Hold on, is this is this a joke? <laughs> are you doing snowstorm? Oh because, god, you know, they're intentionally just the trolling season? him now, aren't they? <laughs> the sun is cringe. This can't Wait, be real. Not now, I really always. don't I don't believe this. Whatever. This is why you guys aren't the main character. What is your favorite thing to do on YouTube? Oh, sorry, on the cat videos, learn stuff, design? Amazing. Wait. Do homework? Oh, on computer, not YouTube. You'll do homework on a computer? Wow, I just dated myself so much there. Yep, that's on me. On the computer. Learn stuff on YouTube. That's my videos, okay? That that counts for me. This could be huge for me. This could be like, my big right breakthrough. Right now, we're we'll learning that do homework because the question mark psychotic. means also incorporates porn. <laughs> like, it's cl this is clearly wow, indicating like didn't you even get any homework. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Oh, they, oh, they put the that, they should put that in quotes. What kind of room would your dream house have? There's no way people actually are picking this. Cinema Pog. First off, this isn't the 90s anymore. You can get a gigantic fucking TV with a big sound system. Seriously? Dream house and it's just a cinema with popcorn machine. I mean, a gigantic walk-in wardrobe. I buy shirts out of Walmart 
value packs. If they're more than $10, I feel like I'm paying too much, which honestly does explain most of my non-existent style. But uh, people actually like that? Oh, wow. A spa? Like, what kind of talking? Like, are you hiring staff to run it? Or are you just, like, got a really empty room with a chair you lay in and no one's around? That, You know, that's actually 12% that I'm absolutely terrified about now. That is legitimately psychotic system for like what $500 it's not like that prohibitively expensive to have a big TV and you can sit on a couch wherever the fuck you want you don't need a home cinema it's not like it doesn't who cares it doesn't matter You're getting cheaper every day that aside popcorn machine put a bag of popcorn in a microwave you do not need a popcorn machine look at how big these fuck now I'm craving popcorn which is weird because I never crave popcorn my wife does we have literally gone to the theater to buy popcorn and by going to the theater, I mean I bribed her to watch movies by buying her popcorn, and it worked. I'm okay with that. These are, and they're like unwieldy too. Do you want to go sit there? Oh, like they want those machines. Cranks every time you want to go watch Fat Albert, that's <sighs> this is a mess. This is an insane choice. Your are all seems pretty cool. Oh my God, what's your favorite type of sport? What is snooker? We. I am not looking this up. I hope he doesn't, because we all know this is probably going to be like some kind of snooky inspired sport. And yes, I just referenced. Is he sure? I could be wrong about that. If I'm very lucky, I'll forget altogether and never think of it again. He loves snooker. American football <laughs> ultimate just, frizzy. I don't know if Relaxing that's true. and watch right, anything. Let's, su let's suppose that snooker is a real sport, and you act. Okay, Wait, what? let's suppose that these images are real, which I don't believe. It's for like knockoff. You guys pool. are not sitting around playing snooker. There's no fucking way you are collectively playing snooker. I've never even heard of this snooker live stream. That implies there's snooker near me. There are hot snookers in your area. God, so true. Okay, apparently you guys are all obsessed with snooker. Look, pool is fun, but I'm a god fearing, freedom loving, beer drinking American. I don't call it snooker. Let us. Play Play snooker, you promised. Pick a sandwich filling. Anything spicy with a packet of crisps. This is aggressively British. Yeah, I actually, he hadn't said that I would have. Chris. Oh, that's chips, isn't it? Uh, sorry, I don't speak incorrect American. British. Turkey and mustard is literally the sandwich I eat. I'm sorry for you. You Meat do know there's other sandwiches, right? Though. Are you one of the people who's trapped in Canada eating snow? Because, like, once you come back to society... Um, <laughs> full disclosure. Loads of salad on a sandwich. I'll get a wrap. I'll put a salad into it and dressing. I don't know why this. I can't stand salad because. Yeah. But as soon as you put it in a wrap, goddamn, that shit hits. We have all kinds of other food. I'll take you to the snooker table. We'll have some uh, some fish and chips. We'll have some ham sandwiches. BLTs are amazing. Chicken salad sandwiches are amazing. There's so many good foods other than eh, chicken salad could be very okay, badly done. Meatballs and spicy sauce is probably like what I would go for. Levels. Hold on, I'm doing a poll. Is turkey? I don't know how to say this. The best sandwich meat. Like no, is it roast your beef. favorite sandwich meat? Because I contest turkey is the worst by far. It's dry and tastes crappy, and like you could just have like if you want that kind of flavor, have chicken. It's just better. And if you want, oh, oh, he's had really bad turkey. I just prefer roast beef for the taste itself, and the marbling sometimes is really good. Or really, really badly handled, and it goes bad really fast. But if you're getting dry turkey, then you- Oh, you poor bastard, you're getting the shit. You're getting, like, the D tier, it's been left out to dry, and just had the juice sucked right out of it. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. You want to get, like, the big honking slices that are more chipped rather than sliced turkey, and then you can salt that, and it's good right there, man want actual deliciousness you know have ham maybe roast beef but this can't be real 25 yeah, of you think turkey's the best sandwich good. meat this is honestly shocking to me i thought it would be like five to ten percent i mean we've have already clarified the sandwiches? chat is I feel iconic. like maybe you guys have never experienced winter you're, you're a bunch of like florida people who sit around drinking lemonade and eating turkey but you've never had other food we need to take all of you out to get good food i'm concerned about all of your taste buds okay the vote was for meatballs and spicy sauce i think that was the correct answer here. Yeah, that's the last question this is cold, have, hard science doug trust the process i have no idea <laughs> Idea how this cold hard science is going to turn into you being a Disney character. But as long as it's just like, as long as you're some side character, I win. Your character is Mike. Mike Wazowski. Yes, your side. Was this the Disney princess test? Oh, they added extra characters in. Eh, I guess Mike Wazowski's fine. Character. I'm the main character. I'm Ian. What's the guy's name? Je Jeffy. Jeff. Jeffy. Jeff Man. Uh, who's Jesse. Sully. I'm Sully. Let's go, dude. I knew it. I'm Sully. You guys are Mike Wazowski. No. You're Mike Wazowski no, you're and boo. you're Deadpool. Yeah, let's go. I'm the main character. <laughs> you're He's boo main on this character. One, man. He's not the main character. Mike is absolutely not the main character. Look at Monsters, Inc. Let's look at the only cover that Sully the only that? movie poster they ever made for Monsters, Inc. That's me. He has more screen time. No, he doesn't. Sully has more screen time. I should take the quiz. Fine. I'll take the quiz. Hopefully I am Sullivan. Oh, here.
from Sullivan. Oh, here. Okay, retake Not the quiz. Okay, I'll do this really, really fast. Which Disney character All is right, Doug? Boys, Doug? I'm in. I've found a secret folder on Doug's computer where he writes fan fiction about how cool Chat is as a main character. <laughs> oh, no, God. I'll continue looking around with our incredible. Oh God, they probably did skills. that after this. Pick a sandwich filling. I would pick this. Spicy on the side. That's the main character shit. So main this is character be what his answer is sauce, for the Disney princess. Like spicy sauce and everything, and be like, I'm too cool Please to even care. Just give me some crisps. That's Please main character be shit. Flounder. Pick something to doodle with. I don't know. Pencil. Okay, I'm Princess Jasmine. That, that's fine. We can all okay. agree that Princess that's Jasmine's stronger. the main character, right? Did she have a spin-off movie? Okay, Disney Princess spin-off movie is idea worth exploring. Nobody said that about oh, Mike yeah, Wazowski. Did that in that so movie. I'm more of a main character than you. I'm far more of the main character. You can't have Aladdin without Princess Jasmine. You could easily have I Monsters, mean, Inc. without Soul. Uh, Ian, Mike Wazowski. Mike is main character in Monsters University. No, he's not. Hold on. As a first grader, Mike Wazowski begins to dream of becoming a oh, scarer. Oh, crap. He uh, actually was a main character. years later, he enrolls and meets classmate Sullivan. The plot becomes about him, right? Only Sully is accepted. Main character. Okay. And then if we just take a look over here, like what does Wikipedia kind of think of the plot? So Billy I mean, Crystal is a worthless so. side character who likes lemonade. And then John Goodman is the main character. Paul, Paul. let's go. Did he dude, edit this go. right before he saw it? Even Wikipedia agrees. Mike Wazowski's not a main character. He is the side character. Sully's the main character. There's He's okay. the ascendant Ooh, side no. character who cares. People care about more actually. Lawyer. At this point, Twitch chat and I could not agree on whether Mike Wazowski is a main character. So I called up the only movie. I mean, he's allowed to be wrong. Expert who would definitely know the answer. Who the hell is he calling? My old coworker, the renowned cop and lawyer, Parkser. Uh, hey, Parkser, lawyer. you're on stream. Hi. Hey, uh, is Mike Wazowski the main character? Uh, I don't think I know who that is. Hey, have you seen <sighs> Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University? What is it? <laughs> The movie. He hasn't no, seen not, them? I've not heard of it before. In your professional opinion, what do you think? Okay, so I was literally about to leave, so I, I can actually go back on my computer. Okay, yeah, this is more important. He has I, no idea who those... Oh, I mean, I thought Disney movies were everywhere. Before. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Like, so in your opinion, who's the main levels. character? I'm I haven't seen the full movie, so I'm not sure, but usually it's like the little green guy, right? No, 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 no. It's the fucking blue dude. It's the no, big no, blue it's the green dude. guy. How are, you making it, how are you making that decision that it's the, the green guy? Cultural Just type it in, you get the answer. The little green ball guy is the main character, but in terms of a storyline perspective, it seems like it's like a co- Whole main character where both of them are. Okay. But but we but we we <laughs> can agree weird. though since you haven't watched it, your opinion is invalid. Yeah, probably. Okay. I mean, is your chat point. claiming that the little green ball is the main character and you're saying that the blue guy is? Correct. Based off of that alone, I'd probably say that the blue guy is the real main character. I feel like <laughs> Twitch is just like goes by the the cultural meme aspect of it. He's probably memed because he's like the underdog of the show. Exactly. Yeah. This is why I trust really your opinion on this. Damn, movie. this guy's yes. on the ball. Or it's like in Shrek, people really like the donkey guy because he's like the underdog. The What's donkey the donkey guy's guy? name? Like e Igor. I think it's Igor, yeah. Yeah, and like they like Igor better than Shrek, even though Shrek's the main character. So like my guess is like that's what this situation is. Yeah, this is another. E what did I just pause on? I don't. Wow, Doug, Doug. You said this guy's your friend, and you did him dirty. I mean, you left in. Yeah, that donkey guy. What's his name? Igor. I mean, to be friends with someone is to just roast them the hardest, but god damn. I don't He's already sure. dead. Follow-up question. Have you seen a movie, by the way? Yeah, I actually really like the Rush Hour series. I've watched Rush Hour. I've seen a few, like... Oh, well, I mean, it's halfway like to... 20 dialogue. years ago. I mean, that's not yeah, I've seen all... There's three of them, right? There's three. There's there three? four, but who's... <laughs> oh, Jackie actually, Chan I think they're making the fourth one now. Uh, oh, I think Igor I heard Tucker. rumors of it. Igor... Wait, Igor's the, the donkey. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, he did it again. Tucker. Oh, Chris Tucker, right? Yeah. Apparently, he got so rich that he didn't care about making another movie or something like that. I, that's probably a myth, but that's what I heard. So I didn't get to see. So you never have gotten uh, to watch a fourth movie in your life. I watched uh, sure Brooklyn nine, -Nine, -Nine with one. my old roommate. Wait, is that a movie? No, that's not a movie. <laughs> that's like a series, right? Dude, what? She also made me watch uh, Rick and Morty with her. I am in the weird position of having more cultural knowledge than someone. This rarely happens. I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> but I think that that might also be like a series and not a... That's not also a TV. a TV show. Have you ever watched a Does TV show besides Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Rick and Morty? Like just uh, some kind of Jackie super Jackie Chan Jeep? Adventure. Okay, that was pretty hype, yeah. <laughs> Eight years old. <laughs> okay, this, so this probably won't work that's really good Have you seen Aladdin? Is Princess Jasmine the main character in Aladdin? I have heard of Aladdin. I don't know who Princess Jasmine is. Fuck, okay.
who hurt this person? Like, unironically, Disney banked so much in both their money and everyone else's money on Aladdin. That is literally a touchstone for general culture in America, whether you like it or not. And honestly, I found it kind of boring. But that just, it went everywhere. Honestly, if Robin Williams wasn't on screen, I could just kind of zone out and not care. If he's on screen, it's amazing. He probably doesn't even know who Robin Williams is at this point. No, 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 don't you dare. No, don't make that. No, don't make that. Don't make that a thing. At this rate, it's probably going to happen, too. Okay. I have not seen the movie. Uh, I would assume it's based off the title of the movie, Aladdin is the main character. Well, hold on, hold on. By the logic you used earlier, they're both main characters, right? Like Monsters, Inc. I mean, okay. Yeah, in this case, I'll, Genie's I'll, the main I'll, character, and Aladdin okay. just is let Don't read, it, don't read into it too much. Kind of use your gut reaction. So based on the cover, it seems like the blue Genie is the main character. <laughs> He's not the main The Genie is not the main <laughs> character. The question is about Princess Jasmine. Jasmine. Is the best part. Isn't this like a Marvel movie? No, not Marvel. No. What? What's the other big Disney? Isn't <laughs> Disney like usually like the? He didn't even know it was a Disney movie. <sighs> this guy is either absolutely insane or the most brilliant man in the world because I can't understand this happening in any other way. Wow. The big, like, princess thing? So, yeah, I guess. Is he yeah, playing a it, bit? It would seem like she's the no, main No, no, Doug Doug's losing <laughs> it. Yes, I, think, uh, I did it! Who's the guy, though? Are they, like, co-characters? I don't even know who Does the guy know which is. One Nobody Aladdin even remembers is? him. Because most people just kind of focus on Princess Jasmine anyways. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so which one's Aladdin? Is Aladdin the genie? Um, I think he's the donkey. There's a donkey in this movie? You're literally no, he's trolling. Just Aladdin is a lovable street urchin. Okay, Princess well, you don't have Jasmine. to read the plot. We can agree. I, I think I think we're the wrapped guy... up here. Wait, the also, main character is Princess Disney Jasmine, like you, you said. Mike Wazowski is a co-main character with Sully. We're on the same page, right? And that's legally binding. Wait, no, it's not legally binding. We're not legally You're all... agreeing to anything. Yes, you, you, you're you by the oath, okay? Why are you looking at pictures of Snooker? <laughs> Oh, he's on the stream <laughs> okay, now. On. Since you apparently don't watch movies or TV shows, do you watch Snooker? Not really. But you, are you aware of what it was? I didn't. I was not aware that this existed before ten minutes ago. Yes. No. I'm assuming since the like balls don't have Snooker numbers on that I can see it's just I color based yeah, rather I than would. number based. Yeah, I found a place. Um, do you have five minutes more? Sure. Okay. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you a couple quick questions. Okay. Oh no. <clears throat> okay. Pick an insect: beetle, butterfly, bee, or mantis. Bee. On what basis? I, that's the question. Mantis? Is a mantis even an insect? I'm not a. I'm not very good at Pretty that. Pretty sure I it don't is. know. I, look, all I can tell you is this will definitely factor into what Disney character Could you are. Wrong, What's your favorite though. thing to do on the computer? One, watch cat videos. Two, learn stuff on YouTube. Three, design amazing outfits. And four, do homework. Wink, wink. What, what does a wink, wink mean? Porn. Oh. Like, you know, uh, like doing one-handed wrestling. Now. You know what I mean? Play a little five-on-one. One. One-handed wrestling. You know, choke the, the carrot. Oh, masturbating. Yes. Um, I'll, I'll go with learn stuff. Did he literally just get that? I don't. I would say this guy lives under a rock, but the rock, I think, is better informed. Learn stuff on YouTube. Okay. All right, Parks. I'm happy to announce that in the Doug Doug Cinematic learned something Universe, new. I'm the main character as Princess Jasmine. Twitch chat is a side character as Mike Wazowski. And you are. You're. Okay, you're also you're also Princess Jasmine. Just go to the Don't only like the two main characters trying... like in Monsters Inc. You're friendly, loyal, and sassy. That's how I would describe you. Oh, sassy. Okay. You're doing right, him well, dirty, uh, man. You're doing for him your dirty. Legal counsel, as always. Uh, just go ahead and bill me for an hour. I'm not. Don't no. That's not, that's not how that works. I'll send it to your paralegal. I don't have a paralegal. Um. Okay. Bye, Parks. Well, get around to so hiring one. Appreciate it. Okay. Bye. So take away from there. <laughs> I remember him saying Princess Jasmine is probably the main character, and that Sully and Mike are co-main characters. Mike has more screen time than Jasmine. Ja I mean, Jasmine isn't. She's more important. I mean, there's the been story. multiple movies, movies and Mike Jasmine Wazowski. In, oh, you no, can't she's remove movies, Princess actually. Jasmine because the series. whole reason that Aladdin even happens is because he is pining for Princess Jasmine. He wants support, and we can ignore Monsters yeah. University. Mike is comedic relief. Jasmine is the story. Okay, but we're gonna do a free personality test. Now that we know that you're Deadpool and Mike Wazowski, we're answering this. We're going to see exactly where you line in like a more complex personality matrix. Oh no. 
What is Twitch chat? Go. Hyper Click obsessive. On circle you agree with. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. You don't uh, like to use no. organizing tools? What's wrong with you guys? How do you or how do you stay organized? That's the neat thing. We don't. Dude, you gotta work. I mean, everyone has an organization method. It's called the pile. I have one. It's in there. Technically, I know where everything is. It works perfectly. Organized, man. I'm super organized. I got a document. I put things in it. It's amazing. We live in landfills. I like to believe yeah, that you guys are accurate. normal humans and are not just a bunch of people in Florida in a dumpster eating snow. Doug is the reason you hate winter because it makes your bald head very cold without a hat. <laughs> Damn. I just want to point out the irony here. You who are sitting here, hundreds of you clicking together to fill out a, a quiz, do not like participating in group activities. Do you know what groups are? This is not real. Why are you? I mean, the internet is the one place where you can be absolutely silent and alone in a group at the same time with a huge uh, ecosphere of people who agree with you, who can interact with you, who you can talk with at any time, but you're also completely solitary and alone. It's fun that way. I mean, for some people, for an extrovert, what I just described is a threat for me, an introvert. I'm like, wait, you got all the benefits of being an extrovert without actually having to be an extrovert? And I still get to be alone? Oh, hell yeah, man. Uh. You participating in it then? You chose to come. This is different. I guess. This man, is torture you're, for you. You're Which is my, way more fun. Am I crazy for thinking this is a very weird answer? Do any of you yep. like being here? <laughs> Apparently, none of you they are here want they to do it. actually here do any of these group activities. This out. just backs up the idea that <laughs> all ironic, that's probably the reason these too. challenges that I do. Maybe the true main character was the friends we made along the way. No, those are also side characters. So <laughs> is forgettable at best. Look, the genie in Aladdin, the most memorable and most love character, but he's not the main character. You aren't even Sully, you're a Disney princess. Yeah, you're right. Why are we even talking about it? Okay, can we agree, though, that Princess Jasmine is is the best Disney princess? I actually don't really remember what happens in Aladdin. Oh, yeah, Mulan's way better. Oh, yeah, yeah Fiona's kinda. awesome, too. Well, Fiona's not a Disney princess. Fiona's a DreamWorks princess. Shrek oh, is yeah, the best they're not Disney, Disney princess. Again, huh. Shrek is DreamWorks princess. Mulan yeah. isn't a princess, though. Hold on. Okay. Isn't this a certain thing that Disney manages, right? Okay. Jasmine. No. Poppy. That's Snow White, Mulan, uh, Maui, oh, Princess Peach, I don't know, I don't know, Pocahontas, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, Tangled, this is Tangled. I thought he was just making a joke about her because she was newer and because she was older, but really? Beauty and the Beast and Little Mermaid? I'm not even a Disney fan. I, I enjoy some of their stuff, but it's not like I go out of my way to ever watch it. And might actually go my way not to watch it a few times. But even I know that. Wow. Apparently his friend came from the same uh, social media ecosystem he does. A dead one. How do you not know? I am 31, okay? I am not sitting around watching Disney movies. It's not like shocking that I don't know. Dude, you were a kid when they were coming out in your age group for your age range. There is no excuse here know who all these people are. I'm 40 and I do. Well, that says more about you than me. I yeah, and 20-year-olds do. 10-year-olds do. What kind of millennial are you? Don't cringe me, Brendan. There's no fucking way you know all these, Brendan. 30s is old. No, I'm not saying being in your 30s is old. I'm saying that I am old enough that I am not sitting around watching Disney cartoons all the time. And it's fine if you do, dude. I'm not judging. All I'm saying is like, I think it is reason- Huh. He's actually younger than me. Wasn't expecting that that I haven't been watching Disney animated movies since I was like, I don't know, 11 or 12 or whatever. I feel like you guys are all gaslighting me into thinking I'm super weird for not watching Cinderella recently. Take your pills. Recently? No. Ever? I mean, hell, you just knew who Cinderella was right there. It's literally her name. No, wait, is it? Yeah, Cinderella was. It's Aurora for Sleeping Beauty. It's a different one. Please, Gramps. Like, I love Pixar movies, for example. I just don't love Disney animated movies. And so it's totally cool, man, if you watch them at whatever age. It's common knowledge when you reach 30, you have to know the Disney princesses. Yeah, I they have a test and everything. I should be horrified that I don't know all the Disney princesses because only a couple of those movies were out when I was a kid. You are a fossil. I'm 30. Bullshit. I was a kid during the same age range. They were all coming out during that time period. And Disney made sure it was everybody's problem. Five and pretty much dead. <laughs> you guys are just whiplashing back and forth on how to make fun of me. Doug makes me feel young because he's so old. Okay, <laughs> last question. Oh, this God. I got uh, me. Okay, dude, agree. Nice job. <clears throat> Wait, what did that say? You feel what? 
Oh, you feel confident that things will work out for you. <laughs> ah, wow, that is actually a surprisingly high amount of people who are delusional after 2020. I think we're on part, what, three, four right now? Yeah. Shop. <clears throat> what is Twitch chat's personality? Psychotic? Logician. Really? Let's see if this matches up with um, you being Deadpool and Mike Wazowski. Logicians what are the other find options? themselves on their unique perspectives and ergos intellect. They can't help but puzzle over the mysteries of the universe, which may explain why some of the most influential philosophers and scientists of all time have been logicians. This personality trap is fairly rare, but with their creativity and inventiveness, logicians aren't afraid to stand out from the crowd. Guys are. I mean, that's obviously incredibly rare. I mean, nobody here votes for these options. I mean, nobody would get that option. Uh, this is this is very cringe. We're literally a crowd of people. <laughs> Logicians love to analyze patterns without necessarily knowing how they do it. People with this personality type often have a Sherlock Holmes like knack for spotting discrepancies and irregularities. In other words, it's a bad idea to lie to them. OK, no, uh -huh. they're giving you too much credit. You guys yell rigged at absolutely everything. You're not Sherlock Holmes. Just when anything goes even slightly what you don't want, you start Still screaming rigged. Story. Imagine Still. if the entire Sherlock Holmes franchise was him walking into rooms with a magnifying glass, looking for one quarter of a second and then screaming rigged. Ragged at everybody nearby. It's not just spotting anything. You're just you're just loud. But this is pretty accurate. Yeah, Ironically, right? magicians shouldn't always be held at their word. True. They rarely mean to be dishonest, but with their active minds, they sometimes overflow with ideas and theories they haven't thought through all the way. True. They may change their mind on anything from their weekend's plans to whether or not this is rigged or planned to a fundamental moral principle without ever realizing that they'd appeared to have made up their mind in the first place. This is so true. This is. I don't think they're describing a personality type. They're describing ADHD. Actually, Twitch oh, chat. In yeah, addition, they're often sense, happy to play devil's advocate in order to keep an interesting discussion humming along. Like how you guys will gaslight me into shit that is not true because you want your discussion to hum. You guys are like yeah, Bill know. Gates, Kristen Stewart, Albert Einstein, and Avicii. I don't know. Really? Avicii? Oh. Oh, yeah, he was the... He died, yeah. Oh, yeah, she was in that Twilight movie. Her entire thing is she never smiled for some reason. I don't know why. That seemed weird. You, I think you're more of a Mike Wazowski okay, than an why. Einstein. Chat is Einstein confirmed. This is not how, no, it's not what the quiz means. Thanks to their unrelenting imagination, true, logicians can come up with creative counterintuitive. Emphasis on counterintuitive. This should be bold. Yeah. Ideas that wouldn't occur to most people because they're terrible counterintuitive ideas. Rather than taking comfort Literally, in ideology a counterintuitive idea, doesn't have to be a good they want one. to understand what's really going on beneath the surface. I don't, as a result, they it's can all be monkeys, upon man. combat monkeys in a room with and information, even when it isn't braided. easy to do so. And they expect other people to be on. The amount of times you guys have lied to me the fact that you that many times you lie to my face you can't say true you fuck with me all the time and i never know if what you're saying is real logicians can get lost in their own train of thought even when they're with other people very true when these personalities finally resurface with something to say they might find out that the conversation has moved on without them very true the 50 people who are always like saying the joke 30 Fox minutes late best cinematic universe you see what i mean <laughs> Completely lost the train of thought. Okay, let's see how you are with romance. Are you romancing me? You guys haven't been romancing me, right? That's not what. This is this is platonic, right? People with this personality type I'm may sure seem cerebral and reserved, but once they let their guard down, they have a playful, creative side as well. In their relationships, logicians can use their ingenuity to keep things fresh, come up with clever, unexpected ways to make their partners feel special. Yeah, put in the saxophone. You just had to add the saxophone back there. It ain't Kenny G, but I know exactly what you're doing there, you son of a bitch. Oh, it's God. like being very unclear about whether or not they're flirting. As introverts, logicians appreciate alone time. That doesn't mean they don't crave companionship. They hope that the person will lo they love will not just share their mission, but also actively encourage it. I encourage you guys. Finding a relationship that meets these standards it's isn't always easy for these personalities. Logicians may drag their feet when it comes to going out into the world and meeting new people. And even when they do have an interest in someone, it can take a while to work up the will to risk rejection and ask that person out. None of you have asked me out yet. Being the center of attention in an emotionally delicate situation isn't easy for anyone, but especially not for logicians. I've given you all the sides, chat. All you do is ask me if I want to get divorced. You never even asked me if I want to get married. When they finally meet a partner who they connect with on a real what? level, someone whose mind they respect and whose company they enjoy, these personalities know better than to take it for granted, even though you constantly try to divorce me. Even early in the dating phase, are we early? Logicians are unusually direct and honest. True. You're literally all asking me to marry you right now. It may not even- Huh. You know, in the last video, I was wondering why people mentioned he had a relationship with chat. I thought it was just a weird way to phrase and I was just out of a joke and apparently I was very much out of it and this just really fucked up. Ugh. Does this count as monogamy? Or going full on Utah?
I know better than to answer that on YouTube. Even occur to logicians to plan it out. You know what? Why do I always plan these streams? Name one time that you guys set up my stream for me and came up with a great idea and ran the whole thing and I got to sit there typing rigged into chat. I do all the hard work in this relationship. Few people. Dude, think about what you said. Someone will do it. They'll send you the idea. And if you try it, you will be banned. There's no way that doesn't go bad. People love conflict, but logicians are especially prone to shutting down when emotional disagreement arise. Rather than slowing down and really listening, they, they use their powers of logic to prove their partner wrong. True! So true! As they mature. Is it logic uh, or just How old is my stream? How long have I been streaming? I started in April 2019. Oh shit, it's been three years. I'm not saying huh. you're three. I was just... No, you're not three. Hold on. The relationship <laughs> is three years old. Your interview is very wrong. Guys, remember what we've learned. Slow down and listen. Don't use your powers of logic to try to prove me wrong. All I'm saying is whenever you stream I come for Twitch chat instead of the scruffy looking side <laughs> oh! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Scruffy looking side I was assuming character. you guys have been romancing I think we just found the, the title. Time. Have you been romancing yourself? Hold on. Am I the third wheel? Shit! No. Wait, hold on. All no, this, this is a menage a trois. You don't talk about your feelings well. You have to put in special effort. Damn it! I was so close! With their feelings finally expressed in the open, Twitch chat fell deeply in love and joined together in holy marriage. Oh my they raised God. 14 beautiful side characters together in a dumpster in Florida after getting a restraining order against Doug Doug and Twitch. I mean, that's not fair. There's a lot of other things in dumpsters in Florida that aren't nearly so nice. Truly, choose somewhere else. Florida dumpsters are a breed of their own type of insanity. Twitch chat's family lived happily ever after. See, now this is just downright insane. You can't have a joke with Florida and snow. They would all have a panic attack at this point. Technically, it did happen recently, and I think they did have panic attacks. So, okay, maybe it's not entirely impossible. Merry Christmas, everybody. What? I don't even know some of these characters. Like, Merry Christmas. Okay, so they weren't psychotic. They were batshit insane and possibly... Gaslighting him? Yeah, let's go with that one. I don't even... <laughs> what happened that he decided he needed to do this in the first place? What was the setup to this? I know that he has a huge thing where people are like, I'm here for the chat to see how they fool with you. And people were telling me about that, that that's a main part of his entire channel. It's just him fighting and losing with his chat. What happened to make this a thing? If anyone knows and can let me just see it, let me know because I want more info on this. Granted, someone did see I should just watch the playlist they created to find out exactly why that would happen, but I'm lazy and I kind of want answers now because doing anything fast is much easier than actually doing it a slow, hard way of actually doing something I enjoy and watching a video. Does that sound as psychotic to anyone else as it does to me? Probably. Yeah. Whatever. You guys know what to do, though. I'm just going to go and probably try and figure out what the hell just happened <laughs> because it went in a way at the end I was not expecting. Mostly because of the saxophone. Definitely because of the saxophone. Kind of awkward, actually. <laughs> uh. So if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. If you like this, subscribe. Let me know what I should check out next, and I'll see you guys then. Adios.